I'm meteorologist Brian Hill. This is traffic and weather on your route for the 400. And it's also available on 400weather.com. And you can see a good close-up look here at Barry, the downtown core, uh, Asa Road, and the 400 heading south. And you can see we have light blue indicating light flurry activity, a little darker blue, more intense flurry activity. And there is some green indicating a light to moderate flurry activity as we head south. But uh, as we go further uh, down the 400 and we get to all oh, the Innisfil Road area, we've got the flurries. Uh, however, as we continue our motion south past Highway 89 and down here we begin to break out of it as we get uh, around the uh, oh the uh, Pinkerton area and uh, as we climb in toward uh, closer to uh, most of the uh, major uh, commuting routes for example highway 88 and there's a bit of a patch of flurry activity as we go southbound here and we get through the Holland Marsh area but by the time we're at Highway 9, we're in the clear, and green indicates good traffic flow on the 400 southbound. So no major problems. we got some orange showing up with uh, uh, moderate, but all of this is just terrific. Light flurries as we head on south on the 400, uh, and we get down to the Vaughan area. few flurries around the, oh, the, uh, the Highway 73 area, but you can see we are doing really, really well. Highway 7 and the 407 Express Toll Road, uh, no major problems. we got green indicated here. Here, just light blue, light flurry activity showing up on the 400. And as we get down here closer to the 401, things are good. Traffic flow in both directions on the 401. We are doing really quite well. And here's a wider view of the 404 looking south toward Toronto. And on your right, the 400 from the New Market area looking south toward Toronto. No major problems, not a lot of a flurry activity, and green indicating good traffic flow. I'm meteorologist Brian Hill.